What's going on everybody and thank you for coming back and checking out my channel. I'm the Bearded Shark. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button and the notification button so you'll be notified of new videos coming out in the future. Duh! Today I'm going to be doing a review on Kingdom Beard Co. for you guys. The company was established in 2017. The owner, Joel Eck, um, he came out with the company because you know he couldn't find anything that worked well for his beard. And he wasn't able to go out and just go to random stores and say, hey, can I get an order of beard oil or beard balm or anything like that? It was just hard to find back then. So he decided to create something which turned out to be a very well-known business in the bearded community, but it intended on being a hobby only. I have the pleasure of reviewing and testing out the, um, the King in balm, oil, and butter. The King, and of course you guys know I'm going to tap the bottle because he gets all the juices flowing. The King is a rosemary, lavender, vanilla, and tea tree scent. And it's a very nice, soothing, and relaxing scent, I should add. They all come together very well. Right off the bat, right off the bat when you open up the bottle, there's the oil right there. And I would say that it's a nice, light, light to medium beard oil. But you just get that very nice whiff of rosemary and then the vanilla and tea tree kicks in. The lavender is the last thing that I smell, which is a good thing because you guys know that I'm not a big lavender scent. Next, let's take a look at the beard balm. Now he did also send me, of course, the beard balm in the King. And that is the front label. And that also is the back label there too as well. And I'll show you guys what the inside looks like. So let me scoop some out too as well. So I can show you guys how it emulsifies in beard. That's the inside of the balm. And it does have about the same scent strength as you would find in the oil. So not nothing bad because it's a nice, relaxing, soothing scent that it's really not um, overpowering or leaving a trail of beard. This is the balm. I'm gonna place it in hand. And then also I'm gonna emulsify it. And let me just add to you guys how excited I was about the balm. The balm is a strong holding balm. You can see I'm emulsifying it. It's a little bit hard to emulsify, which is okay. I'm definitely not mad about it because that means it's a strong holding balm and it works magnificent in the beard. I love this balm. This is one of the best balms that's out there. And just like anything else, just like his uh, oil and butter, once it emulsifies and warms up in beard, you know, you get that very nice scent of the tea tree, rosemary, lavender, and vanilla. But like I said, the lavender scent is very faint, which is okay with me. I'm not a big fan of lavender. But it's very, very nice, nice soothing scent. But it's not a scent that you have to worry about wearing only at nighttime, that you can wear during the day. You can wear season, you know, season round. Um, it doesn't have to be summer, spring, winter, or fall. It can be any of those and um, it would work perfectly fine in beard. He did include a pick, so that means to tell me that he was aware that his balm is a little bit heavy duty. So thank you, Joel, for that pick. And also thank you for making a balm what a balm is supposed to be. You know, I know there's a lot of balms out there, but some of them are just like conditioning balms and I consider them a butter. But with this, this is what a balm should be. You can actually almost call it a wax if you want to. It doesn't have that grit as a wax would, but it does, you know, it is a very strong balm. Let's move on to the butter, of course. Now, something I didn't mention with the oil, but I do love the blue. He chose blue as his jar and blue bottles as well, which it kind of stands out from other bottles that you see. But I think it's kind of like royal, you know, it's a royal blue. So, you know, the Kingdom Beard Co. and then he's got the blue. So they kind of just go back, you know, just go together. They mesh very well. This is the inside of the butter. You can see right here, it's a very nice white colored. The texture of it, I would say it's more like a, um, it's more like a cream cheese kind of texture. Now with the size beard that I have, let me go ahead and just mention, 
the first time I used this, I made a mistake. I used a little bit more than I needed to. And then I started, you know, playing around with the amount that I need. With the size beard that I have, this is literally the amount that I need. Just enough to cover my uh, pinky. That's all I need for my beard right there. Um, the scent is a little bit lighter than the oil and balm, which is okay because most people, as myself, tend to wear butters only at, um, at night. There's some occasions where I like to use butters during the day if I'm having like a lazy day or anything like that. But it smells very good. The scent strength, like I said, it's a little bit, uh, you know, not as strong as the oil and balm, which is perfectly fine. Uh, let's go through everything. Feeling beard for the oil. Fantastic feel in the oil, the, uh, the feel and beard with the oil and the, and the balm. Um, the oil does not leave a greasy residue. My beard absorbs it very well, so I was very happy about that. The balm is a balm. It's a true balm. It's a hard holding balm. So it gets those flyaways. It helps you style your beard the way you want it to style. And it's not a conditioning balm. I mean, it does have a little bit of conditioning agent in it, but I use it more. I use balms for styling, not conditioning, because I got oils, I got conditioners, co-washes for that, and I have butters for that. So a balm, I use it for style. I don't use it to condition my beard or anything in that form of nature. So the balm is a very one of the best balms out there. The oil does a really good job on moisturizing the beard and keeping the skin nice and just fresh and plus with the added um, tea tree and uh, vanilla and lavender it does a good job on protecting the skin too as well and of course the rosemary the butter i love the color of the butter and i love how the butter performs except for one thing I did find that the butter itself, it's a good butter, but I found the butter, it makes my beard and my skin feel uh, sticky. And after doing some research on the ingredients and also talking to the owner, I've come to, uh, excuse me, I've come to the conclusion that the uh, vegetable glycerin that's in it, it tends to make your skin a little bit um, sticky. So there's no greasy residue or there's, uh, you know, it's, it's a butter, but also at the same time for it to get this kind of consistency, it does, it's a whipped, I guess you can say it's whipped butter, but it does, it reminds me of whipped cream cheese. But in order for you to get that consistency that you see in here, I guess you, you have to use the vegetable glycerin, which is not one of my you know favorite things to use in my beard. But overall, um, I'm not going to say I'm not going to recommend it because you may use it and also you may find it that it doesn't do that uh, for your beard. Some people are just more pickier than others and I'm just happen to be picky. But overall, I really enjoyed uh, Kingdom Beard Co. And it is definitely a company that I'm going to check out and order more products from them in the future. Um, Joel is the one who actually sent me out these products. He wanted a few reviewers to uh, do a review on his product. So thank you again, Joel. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, my man. Um, he's one of the best uh, companies out there for products, and you know, like I said, his his um, his beard balm is one of the best beard balms that I've tried. Guys, give me a comment below and let me know if you've tried Kingdom Beard Co. and tell me what you think of his products. If you haven't, I do recommend you go into his website, which the website is an Etsy shop, and it's going to be right here. And also, I'll put it in the comp in the description below so you can reach his uh, shop. Um, give me a thumbs up. That's all I got for you guys today. But I hope everybody has a beautiful weekend and stay bearded, my friends. Oh, you thought I forgot? <laughs> Duh.